Who's responsible? That's the question many are now asking after learning that the Jessamine County Homeless Coalition bought land with high levels of arsenic and lead from the Board of Education. We continued to investigate this story from Nicholasville. Today, Danielle Miskell spoke with a legal expert about who should ultimately fix the problem. Here's a copy of a deed signed on June 8, 1951, where the city of Nicholasville sold this property to the Jessamine County Board of Education. According to the Homeless Coalition, this property was a landfill before it was bought and turned into a school. We reached out to the Board of Education to ask if they knew at the time or if the city knew the site contained arsenic and lead. We haven't heard back. Charlie Rowland, a Lexington attorney who practices real estate law, explains there are two ways disclosures can be made. And one is if it's an open and obvious disclosure, then the burden really falls on the buyer when it's when it's not obvious when it's something like a chemical uh, contamination like we're talking about here um, kentucky law states where where a seller is is aware of a defect to the land that's not open and obvious they have a duty to disclose that to the buyer because that that's going to affect the buyer's decision of whether or not to purchase that land. According to the sales receipt, the Board of Education then sold the land to the Homeless Coalition in October of 2019 for $76,000. It, it doesn't seem like this contamination, which is a defect of the land that was sold, was, was obvious uh, or, or known to the Homeless Coalition. If the Board of Education knew that it was used as a landfill and, and therefore knew that there was some sort of potential contamination due to the chemicals uh, for that use, then, then they had that duty to disclose to any particular sellers. Uh, and it, it can get very difficult if you look at the previous owners and who was responsible for what time period. The Jessamine County Homeless Coalition has soil tested in April. This soil analysis shows in this column the legal limit for arsenic and lead. In this column, you see the difference. It's one that can try to rescind the contract and say that it, it never occurred and that the they would get their money back if they paid for the purchase price and uh, the land would stay with the Board of Education. Or they could go after the damages they've suffered. The Homeless Coalition is asking for the city to help with the remediation of the land. Its executive director, Johnny Templin, says right now remediation would take at least 18 months and thousands of dollars they do not have. In Nicholasville, Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. The state's Energy and Environment Cabinet sent us this statement saying we've only now become aware of the results of soil sampling recently done on the property and have reached out to Nicholasville to offer any guidance and assistance needed to make certain this site is safe.